Hello, I'm Joe Rimmel Spock at Ohio State University, Department of Plant Pathology. And uh, this is going to be a somewhat abbreviated video today because of uh, being busy here, especially classes started at Ohio State today. We're on the semester system now, and so I uh, had my first class this morning, had some bright students there. So what we're seeing this week, uh, basically um, we're seeing nothing earth-shattering new, but we're continuing to have some cases of gray leaf spot showing up, and in those places uh, uh, that where the, it has occurred, it continues to linger on. Uh, these weather conditions we're having, moderate, warm, and humid conditions are perfect for it to continue. If you have questions about that, we'd be happy to look at samples to confirm if you have gray leaf spot on perennial ryegrass. Other things, things that are going on on the golf side, we had a couple interesting cases of anthrac or of a uh, yeah, anthracnose going on. Uh, one in particular was on creeping bent grass. Uh, on creeping bent grass, if you have anthracnose, oftentimes it's uh, associated where the, the bent grass has been stressed, whether it be uh, aggressive maintenance or some type of special event at the club where it's been, uh, you know, stressed. Oftentimes that's where anthracnose comes in. Um, just look very carefully at the lower leaf stems and sheaths and, and uh, stolons for those uh, little black spines, the cervili, um, and that may be there. Um, also on the home lawn side, rust seems to be a, continue to be a major problem like this sample here we got recently. Um, also uh, with the uh, somewhat dry down and the heat continuing, uh, you know, wheat grasses such as Poetrivialis may show some purpling and decline in turf areas. So you know, the weather forecast, as I mentioned, looks like it's gonna be fairly warm, uh, 80s in the day, maybe higher, um, 60s at nights. This will continue to favor things like um, brown patch, dollar spot, um, gray leaf spot as we mentioned, possibly anthracnose. Uh, be vigilant, have good accurate diagnosis, and make applications um, to uh, pr continue to protect turf, or you may want to consider that for um, uh, to slow down if, if you have a turf disease problem. So with that, I'm going to end. I just want to wish you a good uh, luck this week. If you have any other questions, contact us, and we'll be happy to work with you.